What's up guys, James here from Boot Wizard Boot Reviews and today we are going to be looking at the Under Armour Magnetico Pro SL. So we're going to get some footage shot that's going to go into the full review which will be up on the channel shortly and then for the playtest today we're going to have a look at what is a very interesting boot with some odd quirks. We're going to break that down for you while we try out the boots and see what we think of them on the pitch. Remember to like the video and get subscribed and if you do want to get more from your Boot Wizard channel head over to Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Boot Wizard and check us out there. Let's jump into it. time I decided to put the camera in the goal to get a different shot on the on the shot I literally stick the ball right in the top corner and and I now have no evidence that that ever happened god damn it that was a stupid idea never again I have now moved the camera and I'm gonna try and replicate that and I think there's about a one in 10 million chance it's gonna work but Gotta give it a try, eh? So last time it was the fourth ball, so I'm figuring after those three horrendous free kicks, this one might be the lucky one. with one of the quirkiest things about the boots which is the sole plate and the stud pan. This is a full carbon fiber sole plate and for that it's a very flexible sole plate. Over flexible through the midfoot and heel if you ask me, just not enough support and stability. You get great traction through the stud length, the stud pattern, the stud shape, it's actually pretty good. They are a bit long for AG pitches like this one so stick to FG but it does seem to be missing a couple of little support studs here and there and that heel stud that's right on the back it's a bit weird but it doesn't do anything adverse so quirky and for me a little bit unstable and unsupported <laughs> Now it's time. One ball, one take. We're going for the crossbar challenge. Ball down. Go for it. Honestly, not even close. <laughs> Today's not a good day. Touch and feel on the ball, I think this boot absolutely excels. That upper really wraps around your foot with the form true synthetic, and then on top of that you get this really crisp barefoot sensation. It's not as extreme as you got on the Magnetico Pro, but it still gives you that sensation. It's really, really nice. Overall, the boot could be a little bit more responsive, but the heel area really helps with that. And the touch and feel on the ball with this boot is definitely my favorite thing.
So while the boot does have issues elsewhere, striking the ball really is a joy. It's pure, it's uninterrupted, it's pingy, it's barefoot. I really like this and it is the selling point of the boot for me. If that's what you want, definitely check it out. But if you're looking for a whole package of a responsive boot that has that great balanced sole plate stiffness through the heel, this probably isn't for you. But just pure striking with a barefoot touch, it's so good. Looks-wise, overall, I really like this. It's a standard low cut. It's that bright orange color that stands out, looks great, carbon fiber sole plate, little computer chip design in the studs themselves. It's all a big plus, apart from maybe that see-through panel in the heel and the same see-through panel in the tongue. I think that's a bit of a controversial design choice, but I can get over it. I really like it. For your fit and comfort on these, these are surprisingly comfortable boot. They wrap your foot really nicely without having a foot squeezing sensation, which is a bit of a hallmark of a lot of Under Armour boots. And that flexible sole plate, while it takes away from the aggressiveness, does give you a bit more comfort as well. Size-wise, I've stuck with my regular UK 8 here and it's worked out pretty much perfectly for me. I wouldn't go up half a size, which I know many people do in Under Armour boots. And width-wise, while you do get that close to the foot wrap all around the boot, it really does feel like it forms, sometimes almost in between your toes. I wouldn't really recommend this for people with very wide feet, but it's gonna be perfectly adequate for most people because of that standard tongue construction. It's going to flex and it's going to accommodate most people. Let me know what you think of the Under Armour Magnetico Pro SL down in the comments. Hit the like button if you do wanna see more playtest videos from the channel. And of course, get subscribed. And if you want to get content just like this early and before anybody else, head over to Patreon at patreon.com forward slash bootwizard. Well, that's all from Boot Wizard here today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good one and we'll see you soon.